Pat Murray of Pat Murray Guitars holds several international patents and has revolutionized the way guitars are being made. He owns Jams, a music house, that teaches hundreds of people how to play guitar. Through his teachings, he met David Baker. What a dump. David is a graphic designer, and together they have created and built some of the craziest guitars on the planet. Since crazy people lust after crazy guitars, they found their niche in the music industry, and they launched Axe Grinders. Their out-of-the-box approach to guitar making is defined by the creative process in which they base their design. The idea we have for the Trans-Siberian Orchestra is to actually build a working snow globe into the body of a glass guitar. I know we had kicked around the idea before of an actual gold top. I made pieces to replicate uh, some of the design elements, the architectural elements at the marble bar. You might know what you want, but they know what you need, and it will surpass your wildest dreams. Oh, man. That's beautiful. That's really cool. The team of luthiers includes Changa. He's a go-to guy who has no rules, no inhibitions. Ahora, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahora? And a flair of colorful connections to his inner child. Every once in a while, I find myself stuck in a room with Pat and Darren, and all I can think about is the teacher from Charlie Brown. Darren is the master craftsman whose woodworking ability is unsurpassed. If there were a pilgrimage of wannabes to find the Dalai Lama of luthiers, it would end at Darren's door. Darren actually remains in hiding until we flash a huge D in the sky to summon him so that he can make sure whatever crazy idea we've got going is going to actually work in the end. However, that secret location was breached by Lee, the delicate one. He is being trained by Darren and is becoming quite popular among his friends. I mean, I can take Tim if you want. No, I, I get Tim. What do you mom. get, Tim? Yeah, have you seen his mom? Someday he will be a card-carrying luthier if he stays alive. At least half my age, but I think he's lived about four of my lifetimes. I think they named a few hospital wings after him. Then there's Allie. She does the research and organizes the process, which hums like a well-oiled machine. I ordered a set of dual Seymour Duncan humbuckers a couple of days ago, and they haven't come in yet. What you're saying is, if they don't arrive today, then you're going to drive over here and personally deliver them for free, right? <laughs> Nothing gets by her. I think if you took a poll of people who didn't play an instrument, the number one instrument they'd like to play would be the guitar. Hosted by Mitch Allen, his knowledge of the music industry will add insight and accountability. Hi, I'm Mitch Allen and welcome to Axe Grinders. This week I am so excited because we're building a guitar for one of my favorite artists, Seal. You may also know him as the man who's married to Heidi Klum. Together they have the know-how. Oh no, that is the wrong key. I mean, you know what a priority is? You know what a deadline is? What am I doing this for? The creativity. It's awesome. She said, well, I really like guys with long hair. Where do you live? Oh, she said, oh. She's a fat girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the tools. That's what good is right there. Yeah. The ability to go anywhere. No, you can't move. This Fred Astaire danced on this thing. And the desire to build one of a kind, blow you out of the water guitars. Check that baby in the sun. They are the axe grinders. Yeah, hi, I'm calling about Lee Hirschman. He's a patient there. 